Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Ransom. I'm here with a quick tutorial in Logic Pro X 10.5. I want to show you guys how you can actually uh, take your step sequencer file and transform it back into a piano roll file and edit it in the piano roll um, and have a little more control over the pitch. Of course, you can edit all these things in the step sequencer, but uh, uh, I like to edit it in the piano roll, especially when it comes down to pitch and stuff like that. So. Uh, first thing I would recommend doing is opening the live tab here, taking your drum kit or whatever file it may be in the step sequencer and copy it over here to the live view. And now we can come back over. And the reason for that is because when we convert, when we, when we convert this file to the piano roll, you won't be able to edit it again in the step sequencer. And that's why we just made a step sequencer copy right there. So. What we're going to do now is right click on this file, come down to convert and convert to MIDI region. And that's going to turn it into um, a, a piano roll file. Now, we do want, um, you can see the step sequencer file here is faded out, but we do want each file on its own MIDI track. So what we can do to fix this, um, since they're all on one here, is right click on the region, come down to um, MIDI at the bottom here and separate by note pitch. Now, if you have a drum kit, that's gonna make your, um, here's your um, you know, kick, snare, clap, it's gonna make every, separate everything on the piano roll. So now you can come in here and actually you know, change the pitch of stuff and change the length of stuff a little bit more precise, a little easier um, in my personal opinion. So yeah, hopefully this helps someone and I uh, hope you're having a great day. If it did help you, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I will be coming out with more tutorials um, often. So, yeah. Peace out.